Hi guys, it's uh, 10.45 on a Wednesday evening and this is like my third, fourth, fifth, well, I've lost count now, attempt at doing this. Anyway, I'm going to try and be as quick as I can. So, today all I've done is fix that mountain bike. That's done, my friend's got it back and he's happy. Um, so it's just whenever his mum's got the cash for her to get her bike. I'm in no hurry. Uh, the red Land Rover frame, the one with the bent rear end on it, I decided to um, strip down for parts. So, over here I've got the sealed BB, the sealed bottom bracket, the V-brake bits and the Dralia. That's about all that was worth removing on it. Oh, apart from the um, bottle cage and pump bolts. I have six of those. Mm, five of them were actually not rusty, so rescued those. Uh, this universal rapid reactor piece of shit. I'm going to take the crank off because that's not the original crank, that's an alloy crank. Um, someone's changed it, so I'm going to take that off hopefully and the bottom bracket hopefully because the bearings are good on that so this is good this is going to go on my giant this sealed bottom bracket because um, the bearings are gone again I only replaced them I replaced them when I did the bike up but uh, they're wobbling like hell now so I've got a feeling it's the right hand cup which might be a bastard to get out of there but I'm going to find a way to do it there is a way to do it I might have to make a tool up for it though uh, what else what else what else what else I haven't really done a lot today apart from that got a selection of tyres in here those tyres and wheels are um, reserved for the Schwinn I'm going to put these Schwalb road tyres on it mountain bike style road tyres as you can see with nice reflective um, scotch light strip round each side. I don't know about anyone else, but I like a pair of tyres on my bike. I don't like odd tyres. This front wheel, it is identical to the rear in shape, except this rear one's got that US, um, VUEL to USA written on it, and airline. This one does has nothing, but the shape is the same. It's got a mount for a... Um, disc there although the forks on the Schwinn don't have a mount for the um, brake caliper but that doesn't matter because I plan to uh, change that in the future I've got to take this knobbly tyre off it's got a presta, uh, yeah, a presta valve in here and uh, I don't think the hole is big enough for a Schrader so I may have to drill that out not a problem done it many times before Uh, so I'll do it again. I've got that racing wheel there, which is made by Mavic. I'm going to put that on eBay. Tire and tube included. Because um, I don't need that one. Someone might want it for their bike replacement or something. Uh, it's payday, or will be payday, after midnight. So I'll go for a wander. I do like my nightly walk, so I'll go for a wander, get my cash, come home, go to bed, get up, and uh, I'll have a wander around town, because it's been quite a while now since I last did a, a goodie haul video. <laughs> I didn't do one last time I got paid, did I? Um, so yeah, hopefully if I can find some goodies in the charity shops and whatnot, I'll... Uh, do such a thing, or even something in Liddles. You know, Liddles might have something. <coughs> so yeah, we'll get that hopefully done. So I, I want to be awake by 9.30 at the latest. Or even 10 o'clock at the latest. Um... Dum -dum 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 -dum. Dum -dum -dum -dum. I tested that portable DVD player 
it works. It works fine, actually. But no one said anything about that, so I'm going to leave it in and see how long they say in it. Till it see how long it takes them before they say something. <laughs> <sighs> I'm, not, I'm not actually sure when I'm going to start on the swim. I oh know, I keep jumping from subject to subject. But yeah, going back to bikes, I'm not sure when I'm going to... Well, I say start on the Schwinn, I just want to do some, you know, personalisation to it. Change the rims, change the rear derailleur. May have to cut a new thread on the bracket, which isn't a problem, I've got a tool for that. Uh, change the handlebar and somehow get a bit more height with the handlebar, because they're a bit low for me. Um, I have got an extender, an extension that I can put on the top. So if I want to, I can use that. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure when I'm going to start that project. Because I've also got my um, Sun Solo project with those brakes. Speaking of, I've still got a pile of um, bits of down there to stick on eBay, haven't I? Uh, I've got the tape deck on here as well. That's on eBay. Um... Right, next topic. Computers. My brother's not having much fun with the one that I built him. And I'm not sure if it's Windows 10 or an issue with the motherboard. Um, but he tried a first card. Really did not want to work. Wouldn't game, wouldn't do anything. Just kept freezing and crashing and whatnot. So I gave him another one. These are both ATI Radeon cards, by the way. And that kept freezing. Um, I think it's Windows 10. Because I've actually heard a lot of people on YouTube especially say that um, ATI do not like Windows 10. And these are older cards, so that could be the problem. Uh, so I gave him my Windows 7 disk and he installed that and now the bloody Wi-Fi card won't actually be recognised by the PC, so... I don't know if there's actually a problem with the motherboard, maybe, as it is a used motherboard that I'm using, and, uh... you know, its origin is unknown. All I know is it worked. I installed Windows and it worked. <laughs> um, but there could be another issue there. I hope that's the fan, because otherwise I'm hearing voices. So yeah, he's not too happy, and... Uh, but carrying on with the computer subject, he bought a motherboard second-hand on Gumtree, all boxed, complete with memory, blah, blah, blah. We go to put it in Sunday, in his new case, and I noticed that there's a couple of bent pins on the... Um, CPU socket, which instantly really pissed me off, because, you know, he purchased this under the belief it was a working motherboard, and that the only reason the person selling it was selling it, because it was the wrong one, it wasn't the one he wanted for his computer. But, there's a lot of signs that it's actually a used one out of a computer, now, it may have actually worked, um, and it may have got damaged when it was removed from the computer, but one of the little standoffs that your screws go into that hold the motherboard in the case, that was still stuck to the motherboard with a screw, because the screw was stuck in it. Um, then, of course, there was the damaged processor socket, and even though the cover for the processor socket was in the box, it wasn't on the processor, where it should have been. So, there's no guarantee that board is actually going to work. And my brother's actually, well, not only feeling pissed off like I was, the processor he wants is 150 quid, and he doesn't want to go spending that if there's no guarantee the motherboard is going to work. So that brings me on to the next thing I want to talk about, you know. I would never sell anything 
like that, you know, com you know, claim it works when I know it doesn't. Maybe the guy didn't, like I said, maybe it accidentally got damaged when he took it out and he didn't notice. That's a possibility. But uh, when he says he got the um, wrong one, that's not the one he wanted, you wouldn't have thought he would have actually used it. It sounds like, you know, he upgraded, he didn't like the board, so changed it. Or was, maybe he was pissing around changing something, damaged it, and then thought, right, I'll sell it to some mug. Who knows? Could be any one of those that I've listed, but it still, it still pisses you off no matter what happens, you know. It doesn't matter how it happened. To spend that sort of money on something, and there's nothing we can do about it now, because it was a private sale. Uh, that is one reason I might tell him next time to uh, get it off eBay, because at least if something goes wrong like that, you can open a case against a seller and get your money back, you know, or you can return it and get your money back. But when you go with a private sale like that, you can't, because it's technically sold as seen. But yeah, I wouldn't, you know, I've got the Ethernet switch. Tested that, it works. The Morantz tape deck, tested working. The only issue with it is that the uh, little plastic window that goes in the tape deck isn't there. It's just a gaping hole. But it doesn't affect how it works. Uh, and I've got the old tube radio. Which part of me still doesn't want to sell, but I doubt I'd ever get to restoring it. It would be nice. And a nice piece to, you know, have on the side somewhere. <clears throat> I mean, all it really needs is the cabinet cleaned, because someone's got... Someone's got... Let me try again. Someone splattered little tiny white dots of paint all over the top. It'll need a clean, it needs recapping because when I did turn it on one of the capacitors blew its guts everywhere. <laughs> um, new power lead because that's perished. Well, the outer fabric part has completely disintegrated and it needs the tuner looking at because um, all the strings have gone funny and whatnot needs redoing so and it doesn't sound like a lot when I say it but I think the fiddliest part would be the tuner you know, replacing the capacitors is just a matter of um, soldering and desoldering so it's not exactly that tricky if you can use a soldering arm you've just got to find the modern equivalent of those old capacitors. But yeah, I'd rather sell it to someone that knows what they're doing. <sighs> 11 o'clock, yay! Hour and a half to go. And I've just felt so friggin' bored all day. And it doesn't matter what I do, it doesn't matter what YouTube videos I watch. I've played Facebook games I don't know how many times. Well, speaking of Facebook, a friend of mine posted a video um, which was made up of four clips of people smashing TVs um, which allegedly showed Donald Trump making a speech. It wasn't. All it was was someone had gone on YouTube found four videos, overlaid the Donald Trump speech on the TV so it looked like, you know, they were smashing, they were raging at Donald Trump. And, uh, that was easily proven. Because I YouTube searched TV destroyed and I found three of the four videos. I didn't bother with the fourth clip. But the first one was t entitled Fat Kid Rages at WWE something 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 
and smashes TV. The second one was called Psycho Kid Destroys TV or Smashes TV, I can't remember, one or the other. But that was from um, McJuggernuggets from his Psycho series from two years ago, back in 2014. The third one was uh, someone raging at the TV because their sports team lost. I can't remember it. I've looked at that video several times and I still can't remember the bloody title. But you know, I did link these in the thread as well. But I didn't bother with the fourth because I thought the first three would be enough. <laughs> enough to prove the point. But that's why I'm so sceptical on Facebook. There is just so much bleeding bollocks shared on Facebook. Fake competition pages. Other fake pages, you know. Photos that get shared of, you know, a sick child or something. Type Amen or... Type Amen if you care or scroll if you don't care or... For every like and share this picture gets, Facebook will donate one dollar to the... to this kid's operation or something. Which is just all utter bollocks, but people still fall for it. Other than that, I do like Facebook. Because I do like... it's a very good social media. I've got... a bunch of Facebook groups that I love to visit, you know, I've got a bunch of Lego based groups, there's the local town groups, I've got other groups of my other interests, you know, several different car groups, blah blah blah, I've got several groups that I admin for someone, I've got a couple of my own groups, as well as my own Facebook page, and they're pretty they're pretty successful, I would say. They've got nearly 3,000 members on my old Trucks and Morris group. Yeah. If it wasn't... wasn't... If it wasn't for all of that, I probably wouldn't actually use Facebook. As well as the fact I can stay in touch with um, some family members and friends and whatnot. And I do play the... Um, pointless games quite a lot on here. <laughs> You've got the itch, hang on. But, uh, yeah. It's not the... So it's, uh, it's not the worst social media in the world. No, it's not. It does have its uses as well. No, I know a lot of, uh... That's my elbow. Um, I've heard of a lot of good things I'll be right back well that was mum on the phone and if you're wondering why I paused before turning the camera off to answer the phone it's because that wasn't the usual ringtone. To change the ringtone, you have to take that phone off the wall and move the switch. I have not touched that fucking phone since I hung it on the wall and set it all up. And in fact, two days ago, it had the usual ring, the brr, brr, ring that we know we have over here. The two bursts, the two tone bursts. So someone please explain to me how, within the last couple of days, that fucking phone has actually managed to change its ringtone without me touching it. I swear, I have not touched that phone. I have not taken it off the wall since I first installed it a couple of weeks ago. I know some people won't believe me 
which is fair enough because I've got no proof, you've just got to take my word for it. But, uh, It's not vibrations that moved it, because to get that constant ringtone you have to slide the switch up. If the switch was loose, gravity would pull it down. And besides, I don't knock into that wall or anything because I've got two computer desks in the way. What the fuck is this bike fence that keeps coming up? I've only had that since Windows 10 updated uh, Saturday. But uh, that is certainly the freakiest fucking thing I've had happen in this flat for a long time. There's just no fucking way that switch has changed by itself. Nemo. Actually, Nemo is sitting rather oddly at the minute. You can't see him, but he's about there in the frame. See his eyes reflecting. Hmm. It's not like him to sit there either. But no. I do actually believe in the paranormal. I don't believe, you know, everything weird that happens is done by a ghost. I do always try to find a logical explanation, but uh, if anyone has any with this phone, because I did take it down to check once I'd hung up and, you know, hung up the phone to mum, I did take it down to check and that switch had moved. So, make of that what you will. But on that note, I'm going to turn the camera off and go hide under my bed cover, probably. Nah, I wouldn't. Things like that don't scare me. I've got a friend online who is petrified of things like that. He doesn't like hearing about it. He hates hearing anything to do with, you know, weird happenings. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I'll, um, should be going at the town with Mum tomorrow. I hope, if she can get up town early enough. Uh, so I'll just wait for a phone call. So we'll find out in the morning if it's a knackered for a cook. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I'm stuttering because I'm lost for words. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you at some point. Tomorrow. Bye.